Okay, we're going to have a quick review of the volume of a sphere. So the inside space of a sphere. Think of a football um, or any sort of ball, okay? A 3D circle, effectively. And the formula, 4 thirds of pi times r cubed, is given in GCSE exams. So you don't need to remember this. And all you will need if you're asked to find the volume is to work out what R is, which will not be given in a diagram, substitute it in, and put it through a calculator. And that's normally two marks. If it's just calculating the volume of a sphere, it's quite an easy two marks to get if you've practiced using the formula. Just so you're aware, if you're using a scientific calculator to get a power, like this cubed here, you're looking for a button like one of these three, depending on the make and model of your calculator. Okay. For example, if you want to do 6 to the power of 3, or 6 cubed, you'd press 6. One of those buttons, 3 equals, and it should give you 216. If you're using a basic calculator, you'll have to do the equivalent, which is 6 times 6 times 6. Okay. It will still give you the same thing. So 6 cubed just means 3 sixes all multiplied together. So here is, the volume, here is a sphere. It has a radius of 3.2 and it wants the volume. You will be given the formula. First thing I would suggest you do is cube uh, 3.2. But in reality, all you need to do if you're using a scientific calculator is substitute the value of R straight in. So you're going to have 4 thirds times pi times 3.2 cubed and you can type that all in as a single entry write that down though okay make sure you write that down because if you make it you know you make it an error a typo whatever you know you accidentally hit three instead of power of three you're not going to get the right answer at your calculator but writing this down may well recover a mark once you've done that put it in your calculator and it will give you in this case 137.26 okay now, if you are using a basic calculator, first work out what 3.2 cubed is. And to do that, you'll do 3.2 times 3.2 times 3.2. You should get 32.768. Again, worth writing down, may well recover a mark if something goes wrong. Okay, now, then we're going to put it into our calculator manually. We're going to do 4 divided by 3 instead of 4 thirds times pi and if you are absolutely working with a basic calculator instead of pi you could use 3.14 but I don't recommend you do that if you can help it so 4 divided by 3 is your fraction times by pi times by r cubed which we've worked out to be that that should give you this or something very very similar if you're using 3.14 Round it appropriately. If it doesn't say what to round it to, one to two decimal places is normally okay. So here are two questions. Have a quick go at them. And pause it here and then unpause it for the answers. Okay, the first one, you should have got 7,240 if you rounded it to three significant figures. OK, if you didn't, I think it's about 7,236 ish. The second one, calculate the volume of a sphere with a diameter of four. Well, the formula we're using requires the radius. So if the diameter is four, the radius must be two. So you do four thirds times pi times two cubed, which should give you about 33.5. Don't forget, it is a radius, and they may well give you a diameter of seven in a test to justify the two to three marks you're going to get for this. Watch out for that. Okay, here's your formula and four questions. Um, for each one, work out what the value of r cubed is first, and then work out the volume of the sphere. Pause it, and then you can unpause it for the answers. Okay, your answers for these, 8 cubed is 512, the volume should have been 2144.7.
I've rounded to one decimal place on all my answers. The next one, 27 and 113.1. The next one, 3.375 and 161.0. And the final one is 11 cubed, as it says here. This is a diameter, and you needed to use a radius. So you should have used a radius of 11. So you get 1,331 for 11 cubed, which gives a volume of 5,575.3. Now the only other thing I want to show you here today is the volume of a hemisphere. Now, a hemisphere is half of a sphere. So it's literally, I've cut it in two. To work out the volume of a hemisphere, we are first going to work out what was the volume if this had been a real sphere, a whole one. So we'll do exactly what we did before, use the same formula, substitute in our 2.1, write that down for the first mark, and then put it through your calculator. 38.79 is the volume of a whole sphere, but I only want the hemisphere, the half circle. So if I want a half of one, I just divide by two. My final answer for the hemisphere is 19.40 centimetres cubed. Okay, so a hemisphere is half of a full sphere. So work out the full sphere first, and then just divide your answer by two. This would probably be one mark, one mark, and one more mark. For the question on the right, same thing, but be very, very careful. I've given you a diameter. You need a radius. So I'm going to use 2.5 because my formula requires a radius, not a diameter. So I've substituted in a radius of 2.5, which is half of the diameter given. Put it through my calculator and get 65.45. Again, that was a full circle. A, sorry, a full sphere. We need a half sphere, a hemisphere. That is my hemisphere, 32.7. There are five questions on the board and an extension if you feel up to it. Pause it, see if you can have a quick go at a couple of these, get an answer for them, and then unpause it for the answers. Okay, here are my answers. I have separately worked them all out. I didn't put units on just for space, but it should be centimetres cubed for all of them. You should have worked out a full sphere first. As you can see, it's quite, my drawing isn't my specialty. Okay, so work out the full sphere first, then half it. So if you've got a number that's twice the size of these, you forgot to half it. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover. Thank you very much for watching the video.